<laughs> it's kind of groovy. What's up, YouTube? Salvoji here. Welcome back to another Lindo Ronstadt reaction video. This one is called Tracks of My Tears, and this is courtesy of Andrew over on Patreon. Thank you so much, Andrew, for being a VIP member and supporting the channel. It's greatly appreciated, so thank you for that. I appreciate it. Now, Linda. I love me some Linda. Now, exactly where is this song from? Turns out it was originally written by Smokey Robinson, Pete Moore, and Marv Tarplin. It is a multi-award winning 1965 hit R&B song originally recorded by their group, The Miracles, on Motown's Tamla label. The Miracles' million-selling original version has, be, has been inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame, has been ranked by the Recording Industry Association of America, and the National Endowment for the, Art, for the Arts at number 127 in its list of Songs of the Century the 365 greatest songs of the 20, 20th century and has been selected by Rolling Stones as the as number 50 on its list of the 500 greatest songs of all time. Wow. Well, that was 1965. Length originally 2 minutes 55. Scrolling on down, here's the Linda version which was recorded in 1975. So, 10 years later basically. This one is rock slash country rock, so we'll see exactly how that sounds. And this one looks like it topped the charts at number 25. But for adult contemporary, it came in at number four. Canada, adult contemporary, number two. UK, number 42. So this is on an album also called Prisoner in Disguise. All right, so. Let's check it out, huh? All right, here we go. <laughs> oh. This is cool. Kind of groovy. Ooh. 
so lovely groovy yet lots of soul at the same time a little bit of country sprinkled in oh that is an interesting song i feel like i need to hear this in a few different wit lights like i want to hear the i want to hear it live this is a music video so i mean call it what call it what you want i want to hear it live you know i want to hear the official studio version because it looks like the audio isn't like full quality for some reason Maybe it is. I can't really tell. But she has such a full voice. It's so full. Very easily. Travels very easily. It's very, very full and very powerful. That's always the case with Linda. But it's such a cool, groovy song. I don't know. There's something about it. It felt like it was crossing a few genres. Even though it's like not overly complicated or anything. It just makes you feel a few different things. It, maybe it was the groove. Can't really put my finger on it. It's just a lovely song. I want to hear the original now. I need to hear more soul. I think that's really what it boils down to because I, I do like it quite a bit. Definitely want to check out some more soul music. Maybe I can ask you guys to recommend some soul music. I think that would be really, really fun. The Miracles. So this was a Smokey Robinson group with Pete Moore and Marv. Is that what I'm seeing here? Hmm. Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. One of the most important and most influential groups in pop, rock and roll, star, and R&B music history. I'm definitely down to check out some of the Miracles guys. You guys got to let me know where to start. I want to hear some of it. I want to hear it. That was fun. Really good song. Love Linda. Love the feel of this one. The grooviness to it. The soul, the soulfulness to it. It all derives from this original song. So maybe I'll listen to the original. I don't know. Whatever you guys want. Just comment down, down below. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Once again, thanks to Andrew. Thanks for supporting the channel and suggesting this really cool song. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.